Hello everyone, today I want to find the Kuzadol Forge so we can finally smith tier 3 armor, as well as find the last remaining pieces of the crossbow. Because with these, we could hopefully fight off that Kraken looking monster that's protecting the water drain. As I sadly don't think we're gonna get towards that otherwise. There are a couple other paths we can take. The one right in front of us is sadly blocked by shadow vents, so we're gonna have to figure out a long way around. I did get quite a bit of stone, so if we find any statues that are broken, we can easily fix them up. Okay, I don't think there is anything worth of note in this room. This room's also filled with the shadow vents, so can't even really go there either way. That's kind of the problem I find in this area, is there's a lot of those. There we go, we learned another fragment of the crossbow. And with hope, this is the last one. And it is! Nice! God damn it, I stepped into the shadow for too long. But that is one of the things we came out here for. And we get coins from this one, alright. We also get coins from this one. I'm guessing that means we already have basically all the recipes of this area. Which actually happened rather fast. Well, that's quite the odd shape over here. What is this? Oh, it's a wizard's mark. The dark of the deeps hold glittering treasures. But something foul also lurks in the damp pits. Of course, Kendall couldn't say what it was. The darkest deeps. Best spot to find the precious gems. You know, we kept doing those lines right when I was crossing this, and I think last time as well. I wonder if we can actually get down there. What is below these dark, deep pits? A lot of darkness, that's for damn sure. Dark mine shaft. Oh, fuck. Well, we are down. Let's see what kind of precious gems they have in the wall here. Alright, we are slowly taking damage, which uh, isn't good. I do kind of want to look around here, though. Okay, they have spiders here. Well, could have expected that. I don't really see anything besides a bunch of gems. Unless we can go way deeper, but I think we need a better light source, to be honest. The darkness is just killing us too much. Alright, let's hope we get out of here quick, though. Ooh, we just made it. And luckily, the darkness also stops damaging us immediately. Well, not sure if it was worth it, just to get some amethyst. Oh, darkness is falling. It shows that there is another way over here, and there should be like an entire other area, but I can't seem to find it. Seeing as some of the rest is grayed out, it might just be glitched and still showing the map from below. Alright, we made it back to the entrance of the Crystal Descent, which means we can use the map stone here to get back home. So now we should be able to make this, the first age crossbow. Very nice, and we can also make the bolts for it. We're gonna need quite a bit of the mushroom wood. But that's alright, we just gather some up while we're out down there. Alright, with all that, let's see. I guess just going back to the crystal descent is a good idea. As from here, there should be multiple ways to go still. It's kind of complicated now because there's like multiple layers you can traverse. Which does not really work well on this map, in my opinion. I also shouldn't forget to harvest some of the wood here. Oh, there's a big guy here. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. That was pretty damn dangerous. The trolls? Not really the most ideal to fight, not gonna lie. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to run back real quick. We survived on... I don't even know how many HP. Well, we haven't gotten far in this route and hopefully the orc should stay down so we just have to run back real quick and fix up our armor oh no we're under siege i don't have the stamina for this oh it shouldn't be too difficult i hope well that siege was pretty easy yeah you know what since it's late afternoon anyway i'm just gonna go back to the crystal descent and chop up some wood until it's night time Alright, well, the axe broke. I expected it to be night sooner than that. We didn't actually manage to harvest a lot of wood with the axe. Only 23 of them. I really do hope, though, that we're gonna get a better axe later down the line. Because this one is really bad. Unless the battle axes also count as regular axes. Which I should probably test one day. Alright, so now we have 75 bolts. My hope that that is enough to defeat that Kraken thing. But honestly, who knows? Let's head back towards that troll, and this time beat him up. The orcs are back too. Okay, I'm just gonna go and try beat him up. Damn, that's uh, a lot harder than I thought, to be honest. There we go, we did it. Damn. Oh, they're protecting an orc encampment or something. Warren of the Deep Orcs. 
So this is potentially also where we're going to find another boss again. We don't really have any armor at the moment, but as long as there's no ogres around here, we should be alright. Or trolls. The only other problem, though, is they do poison us, which is rather annoying. Especially since I'm now out of food. However, if I can quickly just destroy these flags, we should be alright. Ooh, tiny fucking orc thought he could sneak up on me from behind. Well, to be honest, they might. Yeah, there were a lot more than I thought there were this time. I think what I'll take with me this time is the supplies to make the smithy as well as a hearth. While we're out here, I'm not 100% sure how these things work. They say they need light, but maybe that means that they have to be like directly underneath those things, the crystals. I tried to put a torch above it, but that doesn't seem to help either. Okay, I grabbed the stuff. There are so many, Jesus Christ. Anyways, if you have a second, let me redo my inventory and I'll come beat you guys up. Alright, well, let's quickly make a hearth here. Make a bed and then make a repair smithy. There we go. Claim the bed. Repair everything we got. Thinking about it though, if we actually put a meal table next to this, we can more properly use this as a temporary base. It's interesting that they go for the... What is it? Biteweed? Yeah, it kind of makes it look like they are trying to scavenge some food, and now that they can actually get out here, they will actually go and fetch it, which is pretty cool. Easy for us to ambush, though. But we can be a bit more reckless now that we have to repair Smithy outside, as well as our bedroll. Well, it already seems like our danger meter is gone, which is fantastic. I guess it's pretty easy to defeat them, not gonna lie. The poison is just the annoying part now. Oh, this must be it, right? Yeah, that looks like a boss to me. Let's see how well we do, actually, against him. I'm not gonna, like, fully fight him, but... I just wanted to see his health bar, man. I guess we're not allowed to see that. Wait, he's already dead? He you're joking, right? <laughs> that was the boss. Oh, we got some good loot, though. Uh, hooray, we did it, guys. We defeated another orc boss. I just walked in here just to see his health bar, see how far we can get, and how much damage we deal. I had no idea this guy was going to be this easy, though. Well, at least it should mean that we can now calmly go about our day here, as we don't really have to care much about the Orc Horde attacking. Maybe around here? The Pilgrim Library? There seems to be an offshoot area here. It could be there. There's still something in the previous room, of course, as well. But honestly, unless it's, like, really lower down, which would be very annoying. Like, this up here is towards the Pilgrim's Road, but that's blocked, and we have to get to the pipes here this here leads to underground where we were before in the spider nest honestly what i think we should do is we should grab all the supplies from our little encampment and place it down where the drain pumps are is that a nice little hearthstone with a meal table next to it and i guess a repair smithy over here man i just realized we got 18 black diamonds all right we're back into the pilgrimage library this just seems like the same place that we found multiple times that goes down to the deeps. Yeah. Like, it's not gonna tell me that we have to go to the deeps there, right? I mean, that place is bloody flipping dangerous, man. Well, there seems to be a wizard mark here. Gandalf, bestow us your wisdom. And the shadows of the lower deeps are not strong against the light of Durin's lamps. Well, thanks, Gandalf. So I need to find Durin's lamps. I have seen those before, but we couldn't make them back then and that was one that's out in the world as well yeah and they're not in here either in our crafting book well at least that was like the first helpful piece of advice we got from gandalf not gonna lie oh my goodness look at that fighting over there now this does seem like the area we've been to in one of the upper floors essentially meaning yep here's the ranger's journal orcish medicine is something we got and I keep walking into the bloody poisonous plains. Probably means we're gonna die here. Well, we're not actually that far away from our bedroll. Ah, oh, fantastic. Let's see if we can check this out from above without getting poisoned. Yeah, nothing interesting in this room. There is a ton of shadow going about, though. I need a, better weapon for this. a better weapon for this troll? Yeah, alright. Troll's dangerous, man. I'm just gonna run past them real quick. Whoa! Found the Duran's Axe Fragment. Grab it. Ooh, a bunch of treasure piles here. I don't think there was anything else around. Okay, besides this very tough troll dude, and a fragment of Duran's Axe, 
which I'm not 100% sure if we actually grabbed or not, but I think that is it. Let's see, Doran's Axe. That was the third fragment, so that we missed one, I guess? The Lower Deeps fragment is found, the Western Gate fragment is found, so there was nothing really in between, though, so I don't get why this is the third fragment. Oh, well, maybe we did miss something. So now that I remember, though, at the Crystal Descent, a little bit upwards, there was another area we could technically go, but it was blocked off by the Shadow Vents. However, though, now that we have gotten kind of used to going around them, that is probably where we could potentially find some more stuff. However, though, it does seem like, besides the actual Lower Deeps and the Pilgrim Road, we explored everything that the Lower Deeps has to offer. So with that, I think in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll go and tackle the drain pumps see if we can take on the creature that's lurking in this murky water so i hope you all enjoyed i'll see you on the next one bye everyone